wonder sometimes whether or not 9-11 had the ultimate impact that was intended. We are fearful, suspicious, and angry in a more public, open way than we were 10 years ago. At least we had the pretension or the fiction of trying to be out of many one, the melting pot. I don't believe that ever actually happened, but I think that that was part of our public political rhetoric. Nowadays, with 70-year-old people being harassed in shopping centers, with 8-year-old children being frisked in airport terminals, with the decline of enrollment from our international students based on how hard it is for them to get visas, we are doing so much as a country to tell the world that we are afraid, we are very afraid of the world because we don't know who our enemy is or what our enemy looks like. That's paranoia. Ten years ago when 9-11 happened, the events of that day, within two days I said in a public forum in this city that we were singing the wrong songs and that we were gearing ourselves up for war and retaliation. America has never been very good at studying its own history. We are a country that still valorizes and privileges the losers of the Civil War from my own personal cultural and ethnic heritage. I find that very disturbing. I also find disturbing that America has never made peace with the fact that it had a long history of government sanctioned lynchings in this country in order to maintain a certain public order. And when I see the public lynchings of 120 years ago reflected in the atrocities at Abu Ghraib prison the same pictures that were taken with the same people's faces gloating over a hundred year span. I don't know how much different we are. But the thing that disturbs me the most 10 years after 9-11 is I don't see overwhelming signs of people radically saying what Martin Luther King said. If we don't learn how to work together to rebuild the Jericho Road, we shall all be destroyed as a culture. I think that we don't know now how to speak about the beloved community in ways that we were able to talk about it even in the height of the Civil War unrest. And I want us all to be aware of the fact that nothing much has changed. Human beings are vulnerable. At our worst, we're given over to violence and vengeance and retribution. But at our best, we know how to reach across lines and tables and chasms of difference and try to see the goodness in other people. But I don't know that our culture, our governments, local, regional, state, or national, are doing a better job of saying but we are still, quote, a nation of immigrants, not a nation of potential terrorists. We are still a land of opportunity, not a land of destroy those people who come here looking for a better way of life. I don't hear that rhetoric. And I think the rhetoric reflects a reality that I think we need to take to prayer and reflection. And then I think if there's a time to be called to courage and charism and transcendence it's at this 10th anniversary when people need to say we have now survived the worst let us try to remember the best 